Welcome to Corvette Mike, Anaheim, California. Today we are going to bring you the video photographs of the entire first part of the restoration of this 1967 Corvette 435 convertible. To note, the binder. The only known example, 15 factory options with bolt-on wheels from the factory on the car shipping invoice and the factory tank sticker with radial delete. In my 45 year career dealing with vintage Corvettes, especially big block 67s, I have never seen another one, especially in Sunfire Yellow. Have a look here at the binder, which takes the, the original car when it was found, back east, I believe, in the Pennsylvania area, and totally strips its original yellow paint. All of the original components, screws, fasteners, were carefully removed. The body was lifted off the frame. All the paint was stripped to bare glass. You'll notice I see no repairs or panels that have been replaced. Once the car was stripped to bare glass, its primer coat was applied. every piece individually stripped by hand in preparation for its lacquer paint job. Then all of the components, engine compartment, wire harnesses, frame, suspension were carefully removed from the body. Its big block motor was disassembled and rebuilt. There's the bare frame, the factory stencil. Very important is the VIN number, which is 14072, stamped on the frame rail. That is on the driver's side towards the back and again on the kick-up panel which we do not have a photo of from this restorer. There's all of the original components before they were taken apart and cleaned. We are going to do this in two or three parts since we have so many photographs to share with you. This is the body attached to the rotisserie which allows you to attach the body and then spin it 360 degrees to remove any grime, old paint, grease and muck from the body panels so that new blackout paint can be applied. We will bring you more of the restoration of all of the components of the chassis and suspension and how the paint was applied in part two. Stay tuned. <laughs> 